current NFL running back for the New York Giants, but former running back for the Penn State Nittly Lions. I've always known about Saquon Barkley, actually, with his rivalry games against Pitt for those first two seasons. I always thought he was a legit running back, and I just for some reason knew. For people who don't know, I'm a diehard college football fan, so when you see me do these videos, of course I like to go back in time without even doing any type of research. It just clearly in my head. I always remember Saquon Barkley as being this dude that was just a threat running and receiving, and I always noticed it during the pit games, it's Big Ten games too. But I think when people finally caught that recognition, it was the 2017 Rose Bowl against USC. Saquon Barkley probably had one of the dopest runs in Rose Bowl history. I witnessed it firsthand. I thought, I was like, yo, how did he even break that mess? It was crazy. Unfortunately, he got that loss from USC from a last second field goal. From that point on, people knew that Saquon Barkley was a serious threat for a Heisman contender. Unfortunately, the next year he wouldn't win it, but I think people got his respect and said, yo, he's a legit NFL prospect. Over the season from the 2017 offseason, he would go ahead to actually start doing, you know, his workout reps, his team workouts and everything but they would get national recognition because he would lift so much and it's, you know, he, he was built so different that people had no choice but to take notice. The most standout game for me, though, was the time he faced against Michigan in the whiteout game for Penn State. The reason why this stands out to me is because I completely forgot that Penn State was ranked number two in this game, which feels so, you know, crazy now, now that you see that Penn State's 0-3. But he would actually stand out in this game a lot more than what I would think he was. The first ever play against Michigan, he would take that for 69 yards for the first touchdown of the game on an opening play. But the crazy thing was, the stat-wise, it wasn't even that good. You know, he had a 100-yard rushing game with two touchdowns. He only had three catches for 53 yards and a touchdown and nothing else after that. But I think the one thing that stands out the most for me for this game is the fact that he didn't fold under pressure under a national stage with all the attention towards him. And I think that's why I decided to make this game one of the rewrite history games. So can I rewrite history? You already know I'm down for the challenge. What's up with you guys? This kid still sending me coming back to you for another rewrite history moment, man. And this one, we got Saquon Barkley. So, for people who's wondering, um, wait, you know, Meech, why didn't you do the Saquon Barkley game against, you know, USC? He was going off that game. The reason why I didn't do that one is because it wouldn't have felt as fun if I didn't do it in front of Penn State. And plus, if you follow me on Instagram on my gaming, you know, on my gaming page, y'all would know that I had somebody from College Football Revamp that's in the Discord with me. Somebody helped me out with changing the color of the crowd, right? So y'all are going to see Saquon Barkley on NCAA 14 ball out at the whiteout. You feel me? So of course I had to do the Michigan game from 2016, 2017, I think. And I yeah, 2017 most likely because um duh, that, that mess was crazy. He started off first play of the game, ran it for a touchdown went from there, did whatever, and you know what I'm saying? And it was, like, really dope, man. So I think it was only right I did this game because, you know, Penn State was number two ranked at the time, and it kind of showcased that, yo, Saquon is, like, legit, and he's, you know, he's bound to be a first-rounder in the NFL. As y'all can see, I made him a 99 overall. And for the most part, I might make everybody on here a 99 overall, maybe, you know, with an exception of a few, you know what I'm saying? But... In terms of Saquon, after that Rose Bowl game, he had a whole lot of hype to his name. He was bench pressing a lot. He had a whole lot of, you know, hype, if I haven't already said it already, which I'm pretty sure I did. But, yeah, so 93 speed, 96 strength, 92 agility, 96 acceleration, 92 awareness, break tackle out of 97, trucking out of 96, elusiveness, 94, ball carrier vision, 94, stiff arm, 94, spin move, 85, Juke move 89, 
you know, and you get the rest from here. I also made his, his jump into 99 because that man can hurdle and he could just, you know, stay balanced too. So that's actually really dope, man. And that made his route running in a 92 overall too. So yeah. So as y'all already know, if y'all know how I roll, Heisman difficulty as always. Um, the goal for this game, we have to get over 100 yards. We have to get two touchdowns. One thing I actually added to this, we have to get a touchdown rush longer than 60 yards because he, he had a 69 yard rushing touchdown to start off the game. It would be funny if he, you know, did that. That's a, that's a special bonus to it. And also for receiving, he's got to have, you know, five catches and a touchdown. And for the, you know, for a special bonus on that, I'm going to try to make it a hundred yards receiving. And because the, um, you know, all the stuff seems so, you know, simple for the most part, we're going to knock this down to five minutes just because, all right? So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get into it. Yes, sir. Oh, my gosh. Yo, look at this, bro. Hey, shout out to, um, I got to find his name. Shout out to Naked Zen, bro, for, um, for making sure I, you know, he, he could get the white out for me, man, because I like this. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so for people who are wondering, yeah, I'm going to change the camera in a little bit. I just want y'all to see the little white out from right there. All right, y'all, let's get it. Let's get it. Yes, sir. Saquon, here we go. Oh, stayed on his feet. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Saquon, there you go. Let's go. Get him off of you. Let's get it, man. Saquon's going crazy already. All right, we got second and nine. Oh, uh, we're going to pass it to Saquon right there. Let's go. Oh, uh, let's go. Get another first down. Hey, Saquon, Saquon's kind of just eating them up right now, man. Hey, how y'all gonna mess up those blocks? Come on, now. Dang. Oh, let me, oh my gosh. Yeah. Can't do nothing about that one. Maybe I can, but maybe I can. Let's go, Saquon. Oh my gosh. No, I stepped out. Let's go. Dang, man. Oh my gosh, come on, Saquon. Gotta be big body, bro. Big body. We're gonna go for it right now. Hey, this is the move right now. Come on now. I wanna go for this. I'm trying to go over the top. Let's go. Touchdown, Saquon. Let's go. Got our first touchdown. We just need one more to go. And then we need to focus on those receiving touchdowns. Uh. Got a spin move. Uh, let's go. Saquon with the, oh my gosh, I fumbled. No. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, I, okay, so I was down. I knew I wasn't bugging. Let's move it this way. I don't know why. I got a weird feeling I can take this. Uh, let me get that first. Let's go. Oh, this is easy. Mm. I'm doing this because I simply feel like trying to return a kickoff with Saquon Barkley. I know we had one back in Penn State, but hey, it's the move right now. Oh, let me cut it out. Ooh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, all right. <laughs> we got 39 seconds left, but I'm going I'm to try to see if I could try to finesse it. Oh, 
Ooh, but hey, Saquon was so close, bro. Give me that. Oh, uh, Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley, let's go! And that's what happens when you have Saquon. All right, you guys, so we're at halftime just to see which, uh, what we're working with right now. 16 attempts, 11, uh, 119 rushing yards, a touchdown. We still got to get another rushing touchdown. Um, on receiving, he has five catches, which we already hit our goal. 100 yards, which we already got ours, and one touchdown. So all the receiving's done, and we're almost done right here with it. So all we need is just one touchdown, and we also need, for the bonus one, we need to make sure that we could get a 60 plus yard touchdown so let's go ahead and let's get it all right see what can mm. dang man mm. can't get nothing there dang ladies and gentlemen we're at the eight yard line we have a perfect chance to get there for a touchdown come on let's see Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, Saquon. Let's go, Saquon. That's exactly what I'm talking about. With the exact same play as the original game, Saquon Barkley goes for 92. Let's get it. Okay, you're probably wondering why I just popped up right here, man. I just started thinking to myself, dog, 2020 has been such a tough year. But can we take it back to a different time, a better time? I want to see if I could try to get 300 off this run. I don't know why. Mm. I mean, got it first, but you know. So, hey, man, that was the Saquon Barkley rewrite history challenge, man. And hey, bro, this was a pretty, a pretty successful one. I got, I was basically done by the halftime. I just had one more bonus goal that I wanted to do and one more touchdown to go and i basically got that within the first possession it looked exactly like the actual play he scored off of during that game which was actually you know really really crazy i messed with it a lot man and hey bro i'm i'm just glad i got to do this i'm glad i got to show y'all you know this because i don't think anybody has ever shown like ncaa 14 or college football revamp like penn state actually having a whiteout. so i'm really happy that you know i was one of the first ones to show you of course i could not i couldn't have done this without you know nick i think i think that was his name because i didn't tell you guys but we actually played we actually played um a game with each other and i got bodied because my quarterback got injured but he was used in michigan and i was like dang man this he he got me right you know he got me right where you want me man i'm done so hey shouts out to him bro he knows who he is bro it, i couldn't have done this without them so anyways you guys that's all that's here for this video today man i hope you like this man like i said i told y'all boys i told y'all let me know what y'all want to see because i'm willing to do this man and don't even get it twisted 
we still got the Mish Jennings series that's coming up later soon. And trust me, that's going to be big too. I've been planning some stuff. So if y'all haven't seen that, I've, I haven't been posting, you know, Mish Jennings Road to Glory content. Trust me, I got some in the bag. Just wait on it. But hey, man, like I said, man, just go ahead, hit me up in the comment section. Tell me what y'all want to think. If y'all didn't like the, you know, the video for some reason, go ahead, dislike it. I don't care. Um, but like I said, man, just keep, just, just keep giving me suggestions on who like what type of game i should do what mess i should do bro because i really do want to do this a lot and i'm enjoying myself for the most part man so anyways you guys that's all that's here for this video today man i hope you liked it make sure you hit that like button subscribe share it with your friends while you at it follow me on twitter instagram the og channel links in the description will be down below but until then it's kids still city meach i'm out